Okay, here we are around noon, Wednesday, July 15th, 2015, and there's Mama Trace and seven, all seven of them that were hatched on 7-Eleven, the 7-Eleven 7, I'm calling them. One black and white, one camouflage, three gray, and two blonde. And uh, the patrol, the park police boat, just sped by and created a wave that washed them all off the rock they were resting on. No rest for the little duckies. Nobody gives a damn about them. And uh, they're not growing. They're not growing that much. So uh, they should be bigger than this at uh, four days. Slightly bigger. But uh, who knows, they could have the tiny genes. But all the two blondes are there. Those are the ones I'm really, boy, I hope they survive because I'd like to see them when they get to, as they get bigger to see what they look like. Because I think the last time I saw this was when uh, Mama, or Queen Uno now and King Quattro had their first nine, batch of nine hatchlings last year, April or so. And I, I did get a video of them going under the Dolorosa Bridge, and I think there were a couple of lines, and they stood out. They all, they looked like really good, healthy ducks, but they were lost to the rainfall and the river drainage. The water was so fast they couldn't get up on land fast enough to have to climb, can't fly. So they went over the wave and were lost forever after that. But Mama Trace, you're still there, huh? <coughs> Everybody coming back. Everybody gonna try to get back up on a rock now, see if you can stay longer this time. This is down below. This is where the old uh, Veramendi Palace and Gardens used to be. I assume the gardens were in the back here and the palace was on the street side in the front. And uh, where Ben Milam got shot at the beginning of the battle and they didn't tell anybody because they didn't want to discourage anybody to, in order to keep the battle going. And this was before the Alamo. The first battle in San Antonio before the Alamo. And uh, so they're there. That's good to see.